Hello everyone. As you probably know, the Fremont produced 2022 Tesla Model Y does not ship with center console trays. So in this video, I will be 3D printing center console trays for the Fremont produced 2022 Tesla Model Y and I'll be customizing them a bit to fit my individual use case. So I will start with this file that I found on Thingiverse.com. The file is called 2021-2022 Tesla Model 3Y Rear Console Armrest Tray. And then I'm going to combine a few files because I want to be able to store my SD cards, my USB-A, USB-C accessories in the tray without them moving around and getting lost in the car. And I'm also going to combine it with this bracket for the J1772 charge adapter for the Tesla. And then last but not least, I'm going to also add a parametric coin holder so that I can hold all the coins that I keep in my car. And just to mention, I'll leave links to all of these files in the description so that you can follow along if you choose to do so. So the next step is to go to Tinkercad.com and then import all of the files into Tinkercad. So all four files uh, you should import those into Tinkercad. So we have the bracket for the J1172. Uh, you have the coin holder. Um, so those two are in pink and then you see the um, USB holder in purple. So I took all of these files, dragged them into the place that I wanted them in the tray. Then I made sure that their Z axis is at zero so that they print at the bottom and they're actually fused to the tray. And we're good, so last step is just to download the STL file to your computer. And once it downloads to your computer, the next step is just to load the file into the slicer of your choice. The slicer that I use is Cura. Altermaker Cura is free to download from their website. So just load the file in and you can see kind of a preview of what it will look like. This is not the actual color. The actual color will be determined by the PLA filament that you choose. So the next step is to hit the slice button on the right, and then you'll get an estimation of how much time it will take to print the file. For me, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take around 15 hours and three minutes to print the file. And then the next step is to go ahead and save the G-code file to your computer and then you can load that file into your 3D printer. For me, I'm using a Krill T CR6SC3 3D printer. As you can see here, I'm using a sped up time lapse of the 15 hour 3D printing process. The PLA that I chose is a bronze PLA, which I bought from Amazon. The PLA is by Hatchbox, and I paid $19.99 for one kg of this PLA. I could print approximately 10 trays with one box of this PLA. So each tray will cost me approximately around $2 in filament. And I will have links to the filament and also my 3D printer model in the description of the video. So I'm going to transition over to the car. So I first printed the tray without any customization using a marble PLA, which I purchased from Micro Center. The goal was to check the fit and the color. The fit was okay, but I wasn't a huge fan of the marble PLA. When testing version one of the center console tray, I noticed everything was moving around and rattling when I stopped the car. That's when I decided to customize the tray adding specialized compartments for items that are normally housed in the tray. All right, let me move this old tray to the side and you guys can have a look at the new tray. So this is how it came out with the copper PLA. And you can see that it fits into the slot perfectly. And if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see there's, there's space for dimes, nickels, uh, pennies, quarters. And then also to the right there, you can see there's the full SD card slots, 
uh, there's the USB A slots, USB C slots, and you can also see four micro SD card slots. And to the left there, you can see a bracket for the J1772 charge adapter. So what I'm going to do next is start loading these things into their appropriate slots, coins, USB, SD cards. All these items used to be at the bottom of my center console in a pre-tray world. Now they have a home, so I'm going to go ahead and put these items in their proper place, starting with this USB-A hard drive that I use as a backup uh, for the Sentry Mode camera. And I have several SD cards, mostly for photography on road trips. And I'll load some coins into the parametric coin slots. I used to have a 2000 BMW 3 Series manual transmission, and it had a coin rack in it. so kind of got used to keeping coins in the car and sometimes I do use coins when I go to small towns and they have um, you know traditional parking meters that, that, that take coins or other purposes that I need exact change all right so I'll speed through the loading of the items and I may decide to further customize these trays in the future so make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you can get updates on that so the next thing I want to do is go into the glove box and in the glove box I have a USB-A wireless adapter for my T-Parts game controller. Because I have a Fremont assembled 2022 Tesla Model Y, I don't have data in the front center console USB ports. So I frequently swap the wireless game controller module for the Tesla USB junk drive which stores the sentry mode data. So yeah, to make a long story short, that's another reason why I wanted to customize my tray. Is I kept misplacing the tiny game controller USB-A module. So this solution, in my opinion, keeps everything organized. And I will leave a link to the STL file. If you guys want to download it and print it for yourself, if you have a 3D printer, or if your friend has a 3D printer and can print on your behalf. And one other thing, I printed is this push-pull design tray. I use the same bronze PLA so the two center console trays will match. I will also leave a link to this push-pull design tray which was downloaded from Thingiverse without any customization. In the future, I may decide to customize it if the need arises. So that's it good people. If you guys want more information on how to set up the 3d print files let me know in the comments below i can try to make a follow-up video that goes deeper into the process of configuring the 3d print files but yeah that's it and also let me know if you like this kind of content maybe i'll do other 3d print customizations to the model y as well that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and if you like this kind of content, please do hit the like button. And also, please consider subscribing to the channel.